I'm Carlin Timmons and I'm a park ranger. You're a park ranger. I'm a park ranger and I have a special interest in lighthouses. And part of that might come from the fact that I've lived on the island since the early 70s and have consider this lighthouse as a real part of the identity of the island. It's like means a lot to folks that have lived out here. So when it got turned over to the Park Service, I was very excited um, and figured I would be interested in its upkeep for the rest of my life. You know, even after I'm retired, I would be interested and willing to help um, you know, help provide public access to this, and to this, this lighthouse. This was the last major? It's the last major lighthouse constructed um, in this country. There's another lighthouse down in Texas, uh -huh. so it's not the last lighthouse, but the last big lighthouse. Um, 1962 was when it was turned on, and so in 2012 it will be 50 years old, and the Park Service is in the process of submitting a nomination for the National Register. And part of the argument behind that, not just its age and the fact that it's the last U.S. lighthouse, um, but is the tie with the architecture of Louis Kahn. Very famous. Um, this triangular shape is unusual. The fact that it has an elevator in it is one of a kind. And Jack Graham was a young Coast Guard Coast Guard man, an architect, who was given the project of reworking a design of this proposed lighthouse. Yeah. And he had studied under Louis Kahn and used this triangle that he had worked with as a shape in the past, very strong. And so this is the only triangular lighthouse. It's aluminum with a steel frame. And as you can see from being up here, the view is spectacular. And it's a little too exciting getting up here with that hand over hand ladder. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is an elevator, like I said, but it is only good for moving equipment. It's a 1960s era elevator without any of the safety mechanisms you'd have in a new elevator today.